In this video, I'm going to talk about identifying adjacent angles. Uh, a little, actually, a little bit more than that. I'm going to talk about uh, adjacent angles, and I'm going to talk about uh, adjacent angles and linear pairs and angles that, in fact, are not adjacent. Okay, this is going to be kind of a vocabulary-rich example here. All right, so the first thing I got to go over is adjacent. So you got all these angles down here, lots of different angles. Uh, are they adjacent? Well, adjacent means, uh, just in regular English vocabulary, adjacent kind of just means next to. Are the angles next to each other? Okay, but a little bit more than that, if you dive into what adjacent means for angles, adjacent means that they share a vertex and they share a side. Okay, so just keep that in mind when we're talking about adjacent angles. Okay, so adjacent and form a linear pair. Linear pair means that uh, if you have two angles, if you have a pair of angles, they form a linear pair, they form a line. That linear word just simply means line. Okay, so two, a pair of angles that form a line. Okay, so that's what a linear pair is, and then, uh, or the angles themselves are not adjacent. Okay, so they're just two angles. All right, so now that we've gone over some of the vocabulary, let's dive into the problems themselves. Okay, three different problems. So I got to identify these angles here. So angle AEB and angle BED. Okay, so I got to figure out where those angles are at first. All right, so AEB, okay, here's our first angle right here. Here's our first angle right here. No, let's not use, let's, not, let's just use arcs. Let's just use arcs. Okay, so here is my first angle right here, AEB. And then my second angle is going to be BED. Looks like a little bigger, so it's going to be this angle right here. Now, notice I use one arc for one of them and two arcs for the second one. That's to note that uh, those are the two arcs that I'm talking about that I want to look at. Okay, and in fact, the arcs tell me that they're not not the same measurement. Okay, all right. Anyway, um, let's see. We are trying to figure out if they are adjacent, if they are adjacent and form a linear pair, or not adjacent at all. Okay, so let's go over the adjacent part of it first. Do they share a vertex and do they share a side? So as I look at these two angles, I got a vertex right here of E. Okay, so A, E, B, and B, E, D are my two angles. They both share, over here, they both share that middle point of E. They both share a vertex of E. So it looks like they have the same vertex. So that's the first part of adjacent. Okay, first part of adjacent. Second part is that they have to share a side. They have to share a side. So I have A, E, B. So here's a side of BE, and then I also have the angle BED. So there's another side right here. BE is the side that they seem to share. Okay, so that right there, that tells me that, in fact, those two angles are adjacent. They are next to each other. Okay, so that works. Now what I have to figure out also is whether or not they form a linear pair. Do these two angles form a linear pair? So if, they, if, if they're next to each other, do they form a line? Okay, so as we see, A, E, B, B, E, D, together they form A, E, D, which in fact is a line. It looks like a line, so it is a line. So there we go. They do form a linear pair. So actually, this first example that we have here, this first example that we have here is adjacent and is a linear pair. Okay, so not only are the angles share a vertex and share a side, but then the angles also, the pair of angles form a line. Okay, so it's also a linear pair. So there we go. So that's an example of, of actually both of them. All right, so let's take a look. I'm going to go a little bit faster through these next examples. I'm trying to get through the, the vo uh, heavy through the vocabulary. So I'll go a little faster this time. All right, so now we have AEB which is this same angle right here. Notice I got rid of my marks like make new ones. And BEC, so BEC is this angle right here. Again, making two marks for that. All right, so right away I see that they share vertex E. I see that they share BE, this side. So that tells me that they are adjacent. But the thing is, is they don't form a line. They don't form a linear pair. So for this example, for this example, they only are adjacent. 
Okay, so for that example, they're only adjacent. Let's mark that off a little bit. Okay, so the first example was adjacent and a linear pair. The second one, those two angles are just adjacent. Okay, so we might be able to imagine what this last one's going to be. Uh, let's, 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 let's look at it and see what kind of angles we got. All right, DEC. So we're going all the way over here. DEC. You don't have to go in alphabetical order. You don't have to say C E D. You don't have to go start with the start with the the the, the uh, what would be the closest to A, I guess. You don't have to go in alphabetical order. Um, you can go with D E C. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyway, there's our first angle, and then we have A E B A E B right here. So there's our second one. Now, as I look at these two angles. Are they adjacent? Well, they do, sh they do have the same vertex right here, but they don't share a side. Here's a side BE, and here's a side CE. Okay, they don't share that side. Okay, AE is another side over here. ED is another side over here. They don't share that side. That's not the same side. Okay, so these two angles, they yeah, they share a vertex, but they don't share anything else. So this would be an example of where two angles are not adjacent. So this is a not adjacent, not adjacent type of problem. Okay, so that gives you uh, three clear examples of the differences between angles that are adjacent, uh, adjacent and form a linear pair, and that are not adjacent. This goes over the vocabulary that goes with that. Hopefully this video was informative, and uh, hopefully this will help you identify the vocabulary of different angles a little bit better.